In this video, we will discuss a math Lampiard problem. The question says, if x plus 1 by x equal to 3, then what is the value of x raised power 7 plus 1 upon x raised power 7? So how can we solve this question? So we have x plus 1 by x equal to 3 and we have to find x raised power 7 plus 1 upon x raised power 7. Now think over this. We have 1 power here and we have to reach to 7th power. How can I reach this? So obviously there is no such formula for 7th power, right? So what I can do is, I can split 7 into 2 parts, 4 and 3. So let's say, I will write an expression here. Let's say what I will do is, x raised power 4 plus 1 upon x raised power 4 into x cube plus 1 by x cube. Now if I multiply this, then I will get x raised power 7 plus x plus 1 by x plus 1 upon x raised power 7. I can rearrange this as x raised power 7 plus 1 upon x raised power 7 plus x plus 1 by x. Now it means that I got this part, I want this part only, but I am getting this part as extra, right? I am getting this part as extra. So what I can do is, I can subtract this part from this expression. I can subtract this part. Now if I subtract this part, then I can get only this part, my desired part, right? So it means that now our objective is to find this part, this part and this part is already known. This is already 3. So I will simply subtract 3. So let's try to focus on this one now. So now our question reduces to find x raised power 4th plus 1 by x raised power 4th given x plus 1 by x equal to 3. So let's say if I square both sides. If I square both sides. If I square both sides, then what I will get? x plus 1 by x whole square equal to 3 square equal to 9. Now here I can use the formula a plus b whole square. So a square plus b square plus 2ab. So 2x 1 by x equal to 9. This will be cancelled out. So from here I will get, okay, let me write here. So from here I will get x square plus 1 by x square equal to, I can take this 2 to right hand side, right? So 9 minus 2 equal to 7. So I got x square plus 1 by x square is 7, but I want x raised power 4th, right? So it means that I will have to do same process again. I will have to square again, right? So I will simply do, now I have x square plus 1 by x square equal to 7. Now if I square both sides then what i will get x square plus 1 by x square square equal to 7 square and this is nothing but 49 now here i can again use the same formula x raised power fourth plus 1 upon x raised power fourth plus 2 x square into 1 by x square and this will give me 49 this will be cancelled out so from here i will get x raised power fourth plus 1 upon x raised power fourth that will be 49 minus 2 that will be 47 so finally, I got the value of x raised power 4th. This value I got, this value I got as, this value I got as 47. Okay. Now our focus would be on x cube plus 1 by x cube. So let us try to find that. So we have x plus 1 by x equal to 3. And we want x cube plus 1 by x cube, right? So if I cube both sides, then we get x plus 1 by x whole cube equal to 3 cube equal to 27. Now here I can use the identity a plus b whole cube that is a cube plus b cube plus 3ab into a plus b. So here I will get x cube plus 1 by x cube plus 3x into 1 by x into x plus 1 by x equal to 27. This will be cancelled out. This part is 3, right? So x cube plus 1 by x cube plus 9 equal to 27, right? So from here, can I say that x cube plus 1 by x cube equal to 27 minus 9, that is 18. So finally, I got x cube as well. So I got 
this part as well I got this part as 18 so finally this is easy what I can do now 47 into 18 minus 3 right 47 into 18 minus 3 now simply you have to calculate this so 47 into 18 what will be the value 47 into 18 8, 7, 56, 5, 37, 47, 6, 14, 8. So, 8, 4, 6, 8, 4, 6, 8, 4, 6, minus 3. That will be equal to 8, 4, 3. Right. So, finally, our answer is 8, 43. So, this was slightly longest question. We had lots of calculations here, right. But let's quickly recap. So we were given x plus 1 by x equal to 3 and we had to find x raised power 7 plus 1 upon x raised power 7. Right? So the very first thing that we do, did was that how I can get 7th power. So I, I, I calculated that if I have multiplied 4th power and 3rd power then I get something extra x plus 1 by x. So I will simply have to subtract this part. Right? I will have to simply subtract this. So that's why what I did was first I found x square plus 1 by x square then I found x raised power fourth and at last we found x cube right we found x cube as well so this way we can solve such question okay so let's meet in some other videos thank you